Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. Um, I'm popping on with a little project that I've been working on. Uh, and I made several sets of these. Um, and I actually just sold my last one on Etsy. What they are, it's a folio, it's a three-piece set. Well, there's lots of pieces to it. But it's a three-piece set of uh, desk set, I call it, with folio and a junk journal. And uh, let me show you um, what this entails. I've never done two alike. This is a tea-themed one. So the first thing that comes with this is a super large folder. So you can see that. And this is all a tea-themed. Here's the back, it's just plain. So this is good for, I call it a desk, desk set, so you can put your receipts and notes and everything in it. So let me show you what, here I'm crooked, there we go. Let me show you what's in this. So what I have here is I have in this big pocket, which is huge, I have a teacup, image a uh, journaling card with some real pretty lace that's tucked in here uh, this has all been coated um, texturized and inked and distressed and sewn all the way around so it's a, a big thick durable uh, envelope then we have a pocket back here let me take these things out just so you can see what's going on. Because I got a lot of stuffies in the envelope part. Here we have a journaling or a, a journaling or a large tag here to write on. That's tucked back there. This says a little cup of friendship with a bag of tea. When you drink this, think of love for me with a pretty teacup image. Um, most of these teacup images are from a uh, graphics fairy and I made a little fold tag there you can move these throughout your journal or throughout your other book there's a lot of pieces of ephemera in this and I, I spent quite a bit of time making this set um, got some pretty uh, stitching around here and this says you are invited to a tea party and this is backed on coffee dyed paper so that's a nice large place and you can see here's another uh tuck here so there's a big po or pocket there's a pocket here a pocket here and then the big pocket up here for you to store your um you know, uh, uh, anything that might be on your desk, uh, even in an office situation, if you want to um, jazz up your desk a little bit. This paper was from Die Cuts with a View. Uh, quite a bit of the paper in this. And it's the Garden Tea Party Stack. It's very pretty. I've actually had it for quite a while and done a lot of different projects with it. And here we have a cute little tag your uh, my cup of tea with some beautiful um dusty rose eyelash trim and that i tucked in here then i made this little tea bag pouch that i got from graphics fairy and i've mounted it it's been coated and i've mounted it on some pretty lace and, and some eyelash trim and then there's a, one of my stick pin uh, dangles here and inside here I made a little tea bag shaker shaker tea bag so I thought that was kind of a cute idea that's actually just for embellishment and for looks and here's a little pretty um, these are all in like a peachy dusty rose and peach and cream toned um, colors uh, the whole set in these pretty little rosebud trim. So that's the fold of uh, large desk folder. Then this is the folio, and inside the folio I have the journal, and we'll get into that in a minute. And I just some have some pretty trim with pearls and rosebuds, and this is a removable little, um, you know, 
bundle of gems and charms and things here and it says handmade with love and you can take that right off and then I've got this beautiful Grogain uh, ribbon here that goes all the way around in a real pretty peachy cream color all right let's go into the folio first here's the chunky journal and we'll go through that in a minute the folio flips all the way out and is loaded with tags I've made and ephemera. So let me just show you uh, how what's in each of these pockets. This is still crooked. There, I hope you all can see me. I've done quite a bit of trim in this. There's a lot of laces and trims and this uh, little tea bag or tea, rather tea ephemera. All right, in each of these pockets and see how this paper looks like it's been just splattered with tea like it's a, a, a teacup ran and then I also love the birds on this image and see that pretty it's almost of an embossed embossed um it is embossed actually paper cardstock and in each of these pockets I've made a nice large journaling tag with some crocheted trim and it's all hand sewn around again look how pretty that paper is all right and then this cute little tag here with a little hanging tea bag that uh, I made with uh, those images on that graphics fairy over here we have another tag and it says T for two, T for me, and T for you, uh, journaling card, and then another You're My Cup of Tea tag with a um, cute, uh, with that cute little tea bag hanging off it with some cheesecloth and some um, fabric and different collaging and flowers and lace. Then we go in here and I have four, one, two, three, four pockets with a little tuck pocket in the front and some pretty uh, trim on each of these. Let's see if you can see that. Or I fussy cut the teacup and these images and some lace and some collaging. Say all four of these. See these two kind of match on the end and these two in the middle and this is a nice sturdy folder i actually made this out of cardstock and it's out of that beautiful cardstock so and it's uh double sided it's very heavy duty and in each of these i have tucked uh some tags this is like just a little booklet here in here i've got a little tag with the teacups on it, another little tag that I've sewn, backed on coffee dyed, not tea dyed, coffee dyed paper. I don't get good luck with tea dyeing. I don't, I like it darker and I can't quite get it dark enough. So, and I um, neutralize my acids uh, in the coffee. Okay, now in this, uh, this little um, front pocket, I have a nice full, large fold up journaling tag here. Both sides are that pretty, some pretty paper, a little fussy cut teacup, and this beautiful uh, rosy peach, uh, kind of a rusty rosy peach cotton um, trim here. And this says, life is better with a cuppa. In there, in this one, I have a nice large tag here with some sari silk seam by, or sari silk trim at the top and you can see there's the metal um eyelets and they're throughout in many of my tags here's another tag that's the same see the little rings of grungy on the graph paper like a your cup is dripping and then take time to appreciate life and a good cup of tea another little tea bag dangle a cup of tea solves everything. And in this side, another one of these fold up tags. So there's a lot of room to write. If you have notes for the office or notes for life, or if you just want to use this just for journaling or 
whatever. Life is a cup of tea. Okay, so this is the folio, and this just folds right up. And you can store your journal in it, or you can just keep the folio separate. Okay, now this is a bit, it's a chunky, pretty chunky one signature journal with some beautiful card stock on the front, and I didn't feel like I needed to embellish that in at all because it was such beautiful cardstock. Here's beautiful ribbon here, tie, ribbon tie, and that's a peach color, uh, chiffon, or what do you, uh, you know, ch chiffon? It'll come to me. Okay, and the inside front, you can see I have a, um, vellum i printed this tea bag image on vellum and it's backed on some muslin and in that little muslin in that little pocket tea bag is i have a little journaling card here with some pretty trim and that's right in the front and you know you can write on that you can tuck a picture in there or what or what whatever you want to do all right here we have a nice big tag with um, a big eyelet with some more of that trim and a piece of vintage uh, looking ephemera. Okay, that's in the front pocket. Then I made a little um, embellished, one of my embellished paper clips with a teacup and some trims and eyelash trim and right tucked it on this bag that I made out of this real pretty uh, uh, tissue type paper that says rose tea is a good idea and it's all teacup red rose tea is a good idea so I just this is so you can move this through I just tucked it here because I thought it looked cute there but you know you can move that throughout the book um, we've got some music paper here that's been coffee stained and uh, baked some uh, inked paper here. We have a tuck up here with um, a little embellishment here with a old ball pin. And a piece of my Franken paper that I made and recently um, showed on my channel. And that's um, Nick the Booksmith idea. That I got that from and this is all sewn around and you can see there's lace on the edges of a lot cotton lace on the edges of a lot of the pages and this we got a pocket here and another Franken paper collaged tag in this pocket we've got a fold out a lot of room to write here a fold out page here and this just says tea is liquid wisdom with some um, cheesecloth and some eyelash trim there. I've uh, got a little tag here, very grungy, grungy, grungified. Got some trim here. And I made a little fold out teapot tag those uh, graphic 45 or graphic uh, graphics fairy images uh, some ledger paper some line paper some coffee stained and inked paper line paper some music paper here it says savor love sip by sip not gulp by gulp savor love that's cute and a little uh, image of, of this, this vintage image of, of this adorable little girl having her tea. Isn't that cute? I think it was an all a, an inv off an invitation or something. We've got room to write here. Up here, I've added some trims. Uh, there's a collage of trims up here with this uh, torn aged pocket here with this large piece of Franken paper, all in the same colors. 
So I thought that looked cute tucked in there. And you can write right on the back of this. Uh, some pretty uh, paper here that you can write on or whatever. The inside of the, of the signature, I've got some uh, one, two, one, two, three, four pockets. And it, uh, a little embellishing here with some trims and ribbon, cotton ribbon. Little journaling or a little booklet here in this tag, in this pocket rather. This nice large tag with some uh, dyed uh, uh, seam binding or um, sorry silk. And this has all been sewn around. We've got, I just put a, one of those little tea bags on the uh, waxed linen thread um, to hold the thread, just to hold the center, you know, stitch. And another big tag with teapots and that embossed paper in that pocket. In this pocket, I did another little vellum, uh, a little vellum tea bag holder and in it I just added some of this stuck this cute old um, ephemera so that just tucks right in there the next page I have a belly band and a large tag that pops down like this and you can write on both sides of that some coffee dyed paper uh, we've got a tuck here with little birdies on it and then this is an, a vintage image of a, serve, a little girl serving tea to another little girl that that was cute so it's a journaling journaling card there some music paper paper to write on more paper to write on then in this pocket we've got i fussy cut this little teacup with bird here with a bird on the handle and some lace in this pocket with these two very elegant looking women having tea and this just folds right out for writing, journaling. And in this pocket, I have this large piece of ephemera. It's old ledger, old ledger paper. It's been ledgered on. I've left all the brown, this is all stitched in a brown, chocolate brown color, and I've left the left the stringies but you can you can uh, trim them I've got a belly band here that I did a little scallop punch on it's been sewn with this cute fold out journaling card here with this little girl serving tea and that just tucks right in there and more room to write, more room to write. The other part of this sack, here comes the mailman. So the dog is going to, the dogs are going to say hello in a minute, I have a feeling. And in the pocket in the back, I just have a nice large tag. And then there's plenty of room to write. And see how pretty that cardstock is? So, um, this whole set, this is, comes as a set, uh, and you know, you might want to make these. They're cute, they're uh, something different from your standard journals, uh, so it's a nice desk set, and it's all tea-themed, and you get uh, the one large pocket with all of the, you know, room to put pictures, mementos, and whatnot, and then you get the journal inside of the large folio. And I'm going to, this will probably be in my Etsy shop by uh, tomorrow. I'll put it in there sometime this evening as I have time. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the 
uh, this video and this flip through of my, um, or my show of this uh, desk set folio journal. Desk set folio journal set. Okay, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.